Bob here, Chopper Bob Customs, and doing something a little bit different today in the shop. Uh, I'm going to start the build of a CNC plasma table. And um, let me start off by saying that uh, I'm using uh, JD Garage's plans. Um, I want you all to know I'm not affiliated with JD Garage's. Uh, I get no compensation from them for this. Uh, I get uh, no discounts or anything. It's just, I found them on the internet. Um, when I started looking for a CNC plasma table, I knew I couldn't afford uh, the commercial units, uh, which are obviously very good. And if you can afford one, hey, more power to you. But I'm on a pretty tight budget. And so I wanted to see what was out there for the do-it-yourselfer. And, uh, and I'll be honest with you, there's a lot of stuff out there that you can pick up for free. Um, and it pretty much looks like it too. Um, uh, I looked at some things where you take and repurpose other CNC machines to do plasma cutting with them. And I think they all work uh, to some extent or another, but it just wasn't very robust looking. I came across JD Garages. Uh, they advertised that you could build the table for under 300 bucks, I think at the time. Obviously, uh, things have gone up in price lately. And I don't think I'm going to be under the $300 range here. Uh, of course, you have to buy the plasma machine and some other stuff as well. But I got to looking at what they had, and for $25 bucks for the plans, it seemed like a no-brainer to me. Could I sit down and design the table by myself for free? Yes, I could. Uh, at the end of the day, for $25, bucks, uh, why reinvent the wheel? Uh, the one thing about it is... It comes with all of the drawings, it comes with detailed instructions, it comes with uh, STL files, uh, there are some 3D printed parts. So if you have a 3D printer, you can print your own from these plans, or JD Garage sells these. i be honest with you, I looked at the possibility of getting into 3D printing. Uh, I may still do that at some time in the future, but right now it just did not fit. I don't have a place for the machine. Uh, my understanding is there's smells that come from it, so if I have it in the house, you know, people that live in the house besides me are going to complain about the smell. So JD Garages sells the 3D printed parts as a package. Um, you know, and I think they're reasonably priced, they're good looking parts, and here's the thing about it is JD Garages has done all of the trial and error and find out what's the best way to do things. And beyond that, uh, once you buy the plans, my understanding is, is that you can get online as it gets updates and stuff and, and actually have access to those as well. So uh, here again, I'm not compensated by it in any way. I will put the link in, uh, in the description. I'll probably put it right here as well. Um, and um, uh, check it out, um, you know. Uh, so, what I'm doing today, I've already gone ahead and cut the tubes to length and marked them out so I can just start drilling. Um, I'm obviously going to be putting a lot of music in this one because it's, it's sort of like watching paint dry. What I've done is I've set up my drill press. Uh, obviously, I'm already using a shopsmith as a drill press. Um, here again, being on a budget, I can't, this, this came up at an auction and I couldn't pass it up because I do some woodworking work as well. And um, so it works out as a very nice drill press. Got it all set up uh, with my spacing from the fence to the, to the uh, material so I can drill the holes. And I put in one of these unibits to start the pilot holes. And I did that because the unibit seems to be more rigid than just a plain drill bit, small diameter drill bit. It's sort of like uh, the drills that machinists use on uh, on uh, bridge ports and stuff like that where it doesn't want to wander. It's, it's very rigid when you drill the pilot hole. And so basically what I've done is I started drilling. This is the leg. Now it does appear a little bit short, uh, and it is. Uh, part of the deal with the uh, JD Garage's design is you can fold this up. And that was my plan was to fold it up and put it in the um, um, uh, in the shelving unit I have over there. I have a heavy duty shelving unit. And my plan is that when I'm not using it, I can store it out of the way on the shelf by folding these legs up. And I bought 40-foot, um, 220-foot sticks 
of uh, the tubing for the frame and the legs and I have enough left over that what I plan to do in the future is to build some slip-in extensions to this leg to put it up higher. Uh, I'm going to see how it works with down low. One thing is if you're using, a, and we'll get into sheet sizes and all that uh, as I progress on, on the build, but um, uh, if you're dealing with heavy sheets, it's a lot easier to work with them down low than it is up high. Um, so I'm going to see how that works. Uh, his legs are the, on his machine are, are 19 inches. These are 20 inches. That's the other thing about the, the, the design of this uh, uh, plasma table is that uh, it can be adjusted from what the, his design is. Uh, within reason, obviously. It can't get too big uh, because of the accuracy of the type of drive that, that it uses which trades off economy for accuracy. It's very accurate out to, you can cut pieces about 40 inches by, I'm trying to remember what the other dimension is, by 30 inches on this table. So it's, it's not a production unit at all, but for a hobbyist or for a small shop that needs to build brackets and stuff like that, I think it's great. And of course, obviously I'm gonna be doing a review on this as we go along. Uh, but so far, I'm really impressed with the drawings and everything. So, anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start drilling pilot holes, and then I'll actually start drilling the holes, uh, following the, uh, the the detailed drawings that come with the uh, with the $25 deal. Comes with a full set of instructions. Comes with a bill of material. Comes with the circuitry that you're going to need for the CNC part of it, and makes a recommendation on what plasma machine to get, what the one he's using. So, and I've seen. There, there'll be some videos that I'll put in the links below as well where you can go out and see the stuff that he's building in his shop. So anyway, let's get started uh, with drilling pilot holes um, and we'll go from there. Okay, so there's still some holes to drill, obviously I need to get to the larger drill bit, but while I got the fence set up and I've got this um, pilot drilling bit in here, 
I'm going to see if I can drill some of the other holes in the place. Okay, so I don't want to move the fence, um, so with that, I'm going to go ahead and change the bit, and I think I'm going to stick with the unit bit and just go with a larger one.
Okay, so I've got all the holes on the center lines drilled. The x-axis tube gets six holes drilled offset. I've set the uh, table up. I'm going to have to drill them and then uh, drill them with a 5 30 seconds bit. Uh, it would be better if I had a numbered bit, but I don't because I have to tap these 1032. Uh, six of them. So. Okay, so that takes care of the tube, tubes for the frame and the X and the Y axis and it takes care of the plates for the Y axis assembly and also the holes in the um, adjusters.
I got to cut the slots. Um, probably the next thing I'm going to do is make the uh, carriage for the um, that goes on the X axis. Or no, I'm sorry, that actually is the carriage for the X axis that goes on the Y axis. Uh, anyway, let's uh, let me do some cleanup work and I'll be right back. Okay, so this is the gantry tube. Gets 32 holes drilled and tapped. I've already got four of them in there, um, so <clears throat> I gotta get the rest in here. videotape it. Um, I just got done tapping 44 1032 holes. Um, 32 of them in the gantry carriage alone. Um, anyway, uh, so basically I've got the holes drilled. I've got, I've got all of the metal holes tapped I believe. I do have to tap some holes in the uh, uh, 3D printed parts, um, but uh, that should go fairly easy. Um, so the next video, I'll be assembling the frame, getting the bearing carrier set up, and getting that all assembled. And uh, if that all goes well, and I, so far I think it is, this is a really well thought out deal. And like I said, it's worth, the, in my opinion, it's worth the 25 bucks for the plans. Um, so uh, this is just a well thought out system that uh, the JD Garages has. And as I said, I, I don't have any, uh, any relationship with them. I don't get anything from them. Uh, what you pay, I pay. They don't give me a kickback or anything. So uh, I'm just telling you that uh, what's out there. Uh, check it out. I mean, if nothing else, go look at the videos. Uh, go look at their website and uh, see what they're doing. Because it's really, I, I think it's, like I said, it's well thought out. Uh, and uh, I'm looking forward to uh, having a plasma table. Um, if I get the, uh, if the table assembles to where I think I did a good job, I'm going to go ahead and place the order for the rest of the equipment. I've still got to get server motors, servo motors, and uh, uh, control boards, and Arduino, and a uh, power unit, a fan, an enclosure, just, just a whole bunch of stuff. And the plasma cutter, because I don't have a plasma cutter. And the plasma cutter has to be uh, CNC um, uh, 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 compatible. Uh, because it's got to take the in, uh, information from the uh, computer to tell it when to fire and when to turn off. So uh, it, you can't just use any uh, uh, plasma cutter with it. So uh, anyway, um, so be watching for the next video. Uh, please like, subscribe, 
comment. Uh, if you see something that you got a question about, be sure and ask me about it. If you got some suggestions of how to do stuff better, uh, be sure and leave that. Uh, hit the notification bell. Um, uh, like I said, I'm probably going to be uh, posting more often right now. And uh, uh, with the weather coming up, uh, it's pretty nice today. We're supposed to get some bad weather, hopefully tomorrow night, not tonight, because I'm not ready to park the car in here. So, at any rate, I've got some other stuff coming up. Still got the altered uh, that I'm working on. I've got uh, a chop. Uh, hopefully, it's going to be a chop repair job. There's a vehicle that uh, uh, that was chopped and done a very poor job on it, and I'm going to see if I can't straighten that out. So, thanks again for watching, and. Uh, uh, like I said, uh, like, subscribe, comment, and hit the notification bell. And for now, Chopper Bob out.